uh, investigations of uh, chronic cholecystitis. We uh, all know that um, chronic cholecystitis and the gallbladder stone can be considered as one unit, as one subject, as one disease. And uh, the investigations for chronic cholecystitis and gallbladder stones uh, the first investigation and the most important investigation done in any biliary disease is abdominal ultrasound. Abdominal ultrasound accurate, non-invasive, inexpensive. Show nearly all gold bladder stones. At least 98% of gallbladder stones appear. Sickening of the gallbladder in chronic cholecystitis will appear. Enlargement of gallbladder appear. Therefore, the most important investigation is ultrasound. And actually, ultrasound replaces other investigations done for chronic cholecystitis as Billing X ray. In the past, it was done. What's the importance of brain X ray? It shows about 10% to 20% of gold blood stones, which are radio opaque. Therefore, billing X ray is not important and replaced by ultrasound. About 90 to 80% of gallbladder stones are radiolucent, black in brain X-ray. Therefore, in the past, there is investigation called cholecystography. A contrast medium is taken orally or intravenously and executed by the liver in the bile and the X-ray is taken to show the gallbladder as whitish in color. And uh, here, the radiolucent stone will appear as a feeling defects in cholecystography. But cholecystography not done nowadays and replaced by ultrasound. Um, what are the differential diagnoses of uh, chronic cholecystitis? Um, the differential diagnosis of chronic cholecystitis, first of all, other causes of the main presentation. The main symptom in this patient, dyspepsia, fatty or biliary dyspepsia. Therefore, other dyspepsia in this area, including chronic peptic ulcer, chronic pancreatitis, uh, colitis, hiatus hernia, uh, subacute appendicitis, renal diseases may lead to pain in the right hypochondrium and including in the differential diagnosis. Um, angina is a differential diagnosis because chronic cholecystitis uh, produces pseudoanginal pain or retro and retrosternal pain. Um, in the past, uh, it is described a triad called Welk's triad. Welk's triad is uh, a chronic peptic ulcer with uh, chronic cholecystitis and the subacute pancreatitis. And in the past, there is also a triad called Sense triad. Sense triad is gallbladder stone with hiatus hernia, and diverticulosis coli. What is the treatment of chronic cholecystitis and gallbladder stones? Conservative treatment. Most of the patient with gallbladder stones and chronic cholecystitis are symptomless, silent stones, minimal symptoms. Is the patient agree 
to perform uh, cholecystectomy to him with these minor uh, symptoms? Uh, sure, no. Therefore, the treatment of uh, silent gallbladder stones or mild uh, and mild symptoms is conserved treatment. The conserved treatment consists of, first of all, prevent the cause of the dyspepsia. The symptom and dyspepsia related to fatty meal. Therefore, control of diet and avoid the fatty meal. And we can give uh, the patient a group of drugs called Collagogs, which is stimulate contractility of gallbladder and to prevent the stasis and to prevent the more infection and the more stone formation. We can give uh, antibiotic for this patient to control infection. If the patient have been, we can give analgesics and antispasmodics. The most important for conserved treatment in this patient, the clinical and the ultrasound follow-up every six months for this patient. Clinical and the ultrasonic follow-up for this patient every six months to early detect any complications. The other line of treatment is surgical treatment. Surgical treatment for marked symptoms, complications, or coronary cholecystitis and gallbladder stones in elderly diabetic. Even if silent. Why? Because coronary cholecystitis and gallbladder stone may be predisposed to acute cholecystitis. And the acute cholecystitis in elderly. Diabetic patient carrying a very, very high morbidity and the mortality. Therefore, cholecystectomy should be done for this patient. Sure, nowadays, laparoscopic cholecystectomy should be done for all cases with indication for surgery. Open cholecystectomy is done only if laparoscopic cholecystectomy is contraindicated or difficult. Or during, during laparoscopic cholecystectomy, complication may occur. If complication occur during laparoscopic cholecystectomy, the operation should be converted to open cholecystectomy. Therefore, marked symptoms, complications of chronic cholecystitis and local bladder stones, silent stones in elderly diabetic, laparoscopic cholecystectomy is the rule. If laparoscopic cholecystectomy is contraindicated or difficult or complicated during the technique, open cholecystectomy is the alternative. This is the investigations and the treatment of chronic cholecystitis.